to work on something you love to build and love to play is pretty rare in this industry, and I, I've been able to do that for over a decade. I have very fond memories of the first Gears. When I look back at it, it was a, it was a fantastic time um, to be at, in the game industry and at Epic in general. As a game developer, you just want people to love your product, right? And today, everybody's so jaded, and, and it just it, it gets crazy. Um, so I was just expecting more of the same, you know? And, and when it blew up on us, it was... Um, it was a really good feeling. It was, it was pretty fantastic. We're a really small team, we're independent, and everybody just has that insane passion for what we're doing and for this franchise. And to be able to focus on that and have it be successful, before I knew it, 10 years of my life had gone by. I started back in uh, 2005 when I took over as the Microsoft producer for Gears of War and then I joined Epic Games and became the producer for Gears of War and then uh, I took care of it all the way through Gears 1, 2 and 3 uh, and now I'm back working on the next Gears of War and making a Gears of War game is not something you do instantaneously, it takes years to do. So how do we kind of bring the franchise back to the fans? That Gears of War 1 experience that was nine years ago now, uh, how do we bring that to Xbox One and, and, and do it as, as quickly and as efficiently as possible? Uh, but again, and having a huge impact by upping the visuals, upping the audio to 7.1, 1080p, 60 frames. It's a way to kind of re-engage with the franchise and, and, and move to that next platform because the next Gears is coming. There just aren't that many examples of a franchise that's so uniquely associated with a console like Gears is with Xbox. Having Rod with his background both at Microsoft and at Epic, I think will be critical to, to Gears. There's a passion and an energy here that just I haven't seen in 10 years. You know, like it, was, it feels like what it was like to build the game, you know, the original. Is that kind of dedication and passion and Gears of War is on every screen and people really are fans of the franchise and we're pushing them what, how to make the best Gears possible. And it was this sort of training ground, this proving ground for them to be able to go like, oh, I see how this works. I see what it is to build a Gears of War experience because it's unique. Typically on a game of this size and this scale, you would have two to three years to create all of the assets that need to go into the game. Um, in this case, we had just under 10 months. Um, we went to find partners who could help us basically realize our vision for the game. We're now working with a number of different partners um, in six countries and four continents around the world. It's always been almost a counterculture franchise inside of our, our portfolio, which I've always loved. It's been a little edgy, and I think it would just be great to see that Gears Mania take over again as people re-fall in love with the franchise. I want people to go back and enjoy the story for what the story was. The the experience for what it was, and I hope it sort of just gets people excited about Gears of War again. Like, Gears of War is back, uh, and it's back in a big way. This is just the beginning of a long road of awesome Gears of War experiences, and this is just the first, and I know what the next one is, and I can't wait for them to know either.